Here we go again. Day two. Good morning, YouTube. Happy Monday. Um, we got some snow, as you can see. Um, there's still the crust from this past weekend, but at least it's a little bit quieter. You know, you can work with that. Um, I got myself a brand new big buck track. Pretty good one. It's a pretty good track. A little bit of snow in it, but you can see that he knocked down all the stuff, so I don't know. Two o'clock, maybe. That's about when it stopped snowing. Uh, Dad's on the other side of this uh, gully from me. I don't know, probably half mile. Cocoa Puff's over there with him, and he has a track with a hot doe. Um, so I'm thinking that this buck is going to go right at him. So we may end up to Dad cutting me off and shooting this deer, but that's fine by me. Nice little rub. Be at this tree for a minute. And continues out through the wood. We like deer with attitudes. I'm pretty sure that this isn't the big, big buck that was kicking around here. It, don't get me wrong, great deer. I, but I don't think he's the biggest, so I don't, I'm not really sure if I want to go uh, being too, too aggressive either if I do decide to call. So I'll probably just, you know, I might even try to do a doe bleat with my mouth. See if I can make that work. He's stopping a lot, which is nice. Here we go. Be paying attention. He's eating, which is good. He's been doing a lot of stopping. And now he's been doing some eating, chewing on the old man's beard. So far in a lot of our experience, what we've seen is deer will eat a little bit of old man's beard, sometimes a lot, right before they lay down. I'm not sure, too, too sure why. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with helping them uh, digest and chew their cud or something like that because they tend to eat it and then lay down a lot. But I'll show you what it looks like. So if you guys are ever out here, this right here, see that little green mossy stuff? This stuff right here. That is old man's beard. And it's like a lichen and it makes this big kind of clumps and you can see like all of these trees like right there there's quite a bit of it it's that stuff so whenever you have any tops like this that fall over deer like to pick on them a lot so and if he's stopping a lot and he's going real easy and he's chewing on this old man's beard look how fresh that track is okay he's right here somewhere i'm closing the gap on this buck he'll probably go down the thick stuff and then lay down or he'll keep on trucking to go hook up with the doe that dad has, so who knows. But it's a good big track, and it's brand new. And if he's chewing old man's beard, maybe he'll stop and let me get close, because lately they've been just going and going and going. So it's been hard to catch a good deer. But, who knows. Well guys, suspicions confirmed. Came down here. Stood up and hopped away nice and easy. I may have jumped him, but there's no way I hit him hard because he's going super easy and and I didn't hear him go, so. But that bed is a big bed. So we're gonna go nice and easy and see if we can sneak up on him and see if he slows down a little bit. I'm probably 50 yards from where he was eating all that old man's beard, so there's gotta be something to it apparently. I guess it's true. Because that's been the way it's been for most bucks that I've tracked. So. We're about a mile and a half, two miles from... There's this guy that wounded a deer, this guy that we met this year, he got, he wounded a deer, um, it wasn't super, super badly hurt, um, but it was bleeding, and it was on the left side of the deer, as far as I know. We're about a mile and a half, two miles away from where he 
uh, we, we met him and where he was chasing his deer and that looks like blood and this is the second time I've seen it in the track so this could be his deer he finally slowed down let's see if we can get him coming up the hill um, and I think I can hear some steps right I think the buck's coming right at me so I listen for a while and of course I'm getting wound up right because I can't see it I'm like that ah, could be him right so I'm getting wound up and then I turn around and to my disappointment <laughs> I'm standing right behind him I look back and I'm like I'm, I'm about 20 feet behind him and he about had a heart attack. Like 20 feet. He was over there in that opening. It wasn't right. 20 feet. 30 feet. He can't. He... 40 minimum. Oh, the snow is just raining. Uh, with a scope as you're going along, uh, keep your, your end orifice towards the barrel down a lot so you don't get snow in it and then protect the top a little bit um, to help keep the snow out of it. I keep paper towel in there all the time so I can wipe it out real quick. So, yeah, there's more blood up here, he's in. It is. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh yeah, that's it. Look at that. He hasn't been going anywhere either. He's no. avoiding everyone and everything. Yeah. It's because he's hurt. But my, I mean, it could, it might not be, but yeah, hey, he's we'll going. It's on the left side. So it's probably. Let's go kill it. Yeah, he was laying right on the other side of that stick right there. He didn't run very hard though. And he, he was laying 25 yards right in front of me. He's laying right in that stuff. And it's like this big stick is where his bed is, was right here. That's the stuff we were looking through. It's like, you're not going to get him in here. Mm, you got to kick him out. Yeah. But we did get 25 yards from him. And if and in this crap, if he'd have been in a good spot, a good spot we'd have got him. And this is just one of those things you just got to move. <laughs> We've been uh, coming down off this cliff up here for about a quarter mile. Just giving them the last of the Mohegans here. Just, he's coming down off and just jumping and hopping and headed out here and we're gonna keep trucking. Okay, new development. I'm out of the rocks three different times and now he's Headed east. <sighs> Just heard him run. Probably like 30 yards. He's got a really good spot right here. He's right on the other side of that stuff right there. We just heard him run. Kick that stupid stick right there. That's all it took. This is a pretty good spot though. There ain't much you can do. I mean, he's, he's jumping up. That's great big stuff. And, you know. Four o'clock. Yeah, ten after four. Almost quarter after. We've been we've been just like walking through this stuff, just soaking this is wet. Open. Just like soaking. Oh yeah, wet. I, we've got we've each got a quart of water and all. Of those. <laughs> 
but it's time to bail because we got an hour walk back we're to the rig. We're a long ways away from home right yeah. now. So, time to go. We'll be back. Stinking deer. This is what happens, guys. Get on track. Give it all you got. You may not get him. But keep your chin up. Go back out tomorrow. Are we going back out tomorrow? Yes, we yes. are. Yeah. Why? Because we can. Because we can. <laughs> and it's hunting. And you got to hunt them. Sometimes you have to put in an entire season. Yeah. Or more. Not all of us are Casey. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take our soaked baggy clothes for a nice cold walk you can feel the air it's getting cold oh yeah it's time it's gonna, to go it's gonna it's time to get out of here yeah we're gonna be in the so dark we're gonna we go get moving down out of here and it's still a smash and crash and long way before it's easy walking yeah it is but we gotta go okay that's how it goes guys let's do it let's get out of here here we go again day two This is a jerk's little brother. Yep. Okay. That's three beds. Three beds in about 150 yards. It's gonna be good. Well, we tracked him down. We got him. We tracked him down. We got him. And took two freaking days. And oh yeah. How many beds? Nine. Ten. Oh, beds? oh yeah, a ton. Nine or ten beds. Yep. And could have shot him in the back half, and then put another one in the front after that. But I'm just like, if I don't have a good shot, I'm not gonna shoot. And then he went. He when he left the bed, he looked good. Yeah. Right. We'll have to watch the footage and see how his front quarter is, but he looked fine. 
took right off. He took right off good. But he's he was smaller than we expected. Big, huge clown feet, taking big strides, acting like he's something, but diving through the some horns. Big nasty I stuff. didn't seem that big. I, no. I want to see it on the big screen. But. It's yeah. He was he was probably like a nice small eight pointer, or so, because he he had brow tines, but they looked like they were only like that big. You had a shot at like the oh, yeah. belly button. It was, yeah, you could from from his in there from his stomach back, button, yeah, right, into his hips or something, or punch yeah, him. But. And there was that that tree perfectly on his neck. Yeah, like there was. Yeah, and we probably could have. In we were there for ten minutes. Yeah, we yeah ten we minutes. We filmed him for almost ten minutes. Or so. Yeah, but, and he's fine. He's yeah, running I, good. I think he'll make no it. blood. We haven't seen any blood basically all day. Tiny yeah. couple tiny drops way back when, way but down. he's looking good. And yeah. Honestly, yeah, we've seen what we need to see. He's good. We're out of here. We're out of here. <laughs> we still got uh, that was cool. we still got a couple hours left, so we'll probably swing up over towards Cocoa Puff wherever he is. We don't know, but the snow is deep and it's wet, and we're not. I'm not going back through all this junk for a smaller deer. You know, he was a good buck. Would have been, you know, would have been happy with him, but he's a monster. He pass. But that just that would just yeah. now. I don't want to do all that for this. This sucks. We went through some nasty stuff. You guys saw it. But hey, we tracked him down. We tracked down a buck, and there it is. Paid a pretty high price just to get that film. Just to see him. That was two days worth of walking. Oh, yeah. And up over ledges, yep. crawling through garbage, yep. just like, wow. And For what, me a message to the guy who tracked him first. Your deer's okay. Don't worry. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. You come get him next year. See, that scenario, though, was one where the traditional tactics that we would use didn't work because I tried to call into him on the first day that I tracked him, and he uh, was not happy about that. That was yesterday. Didn't want anything to do with that. Did not like that. I think that's what got him up out of his bed was I kind of I snapped a big stick, so I went, yeah, and I kind of did like a little bleat, and I was like, because, you know, I want, I want a noise to cover me, but I don't want to grunt or anything because he'll be like, peace. So... And, all, and the, what he did and the places he went is not normal no. for a deer, especially a deer his size. He should be down running does. But, of course, the way he's feeling and just, he's like, pass. So, sometimes you get a deer and it's a weird one. So, we got him. when you're in this stuff, peek into it before you come into a hole. And if it's really, really thick, sometimes swinging it will pay off because when you're trying to bust through it and crawl through it and keep quiet, you break more sticks than you can and they end up getting out before before you get a look at them. And those are the two things that really worked on this deer. So maybe those things will work for you guys. Who knows? Pretty sure we just heard Jimmy shoot. He's about a mile from us long and it's through some nasty stuff. But It's right out here. Ooh, Cocoa Puff. Nice big gun. He's got the old 30 out 6 or in actual terms, aught six. The aught six. You don't say the 30, you just say the aught six. six. <laughs> Randy put that meme up and we were laughing about that. That was funny, good job Randy, yeah, that was a funny one. That was. Dude, tag us in that stuff, we love seeing that. <laughs> we dig that. If we find out if he actually shot, we'll bring it back. That was you shooting? Cool. You got to shoot at one. Today's a day, huh? Wow. The one, the only, the legendary Cocoa Puff. Let's find out what happened. What happened with your deer? Missed it. Yeah. I had one pretty decent track headed that way because I thought that's where you guys were. Well, we thought we were out there too. <laughs> We were farther up the hill. We were way up in there. We weren't down here. But I'd fallen it, and then, and then all of a sudden, something right there started just blowing and blowing and blowing, and I started grunting, and it was blowing, but I couldn't see it. I see they went, they went up. They just when I saw them, I just saw two flags, and they went into the thick. Shit, but I could see movement in the thick. Shit, and I said, "Oh, they're gonna come out in that freaking, freaking." other skid trail so I moved over two steps and I put the gun right on the skid trail when the first one come in it had horns and I pulled the trigger and they went up the bang and then they stopped up on top I could see the legs and the body but I couldn't see which one oh, which one which it was because yeah. we know we got yeah two right which one do you shoot that's right tell yeah which one had horns yeah you gotta wait and then they went 
kangarooed away and I said, oh. and then never touched it. It was a long, off, quick. He was running up the hill and yep. it was a quick shot. And All right, guys, we're going to go uh, get something to eat. We're going to go watch some footage from today and uh, see where the rest of the day takes us. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate all of you guys, all the comments, all the all the positive things you guys have said so far this year. We just we love it. We love doing this stuff for you guys, and we have a, we have a good time. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, hopefully we can show you another buck down here in a little while. Have a good night. Peace.